people being told just uh, put bigger rocks on your back and climb up steeper hills and do it in service of folks who may not fight as hard as they need to once they get into office. We showed up in Washington to bring a message. We wanted those um, in the Senate um, who are using um, a relic of Jim Crow, a relic um, piece of uh, rulemaking called the filibuster that has been used to um, stall all sorts of civil rights legislation, to bring a message as um, folks who had worked incredibly hard to put this administration in place, to put the leadership in the Senate in place, had in the middle of a global pandemic work to turn out voters, work to engage everyday people, um, to engage in our democracy, to say, don't ask us to keep uh, putting rocks on our back and climbing up hills during the election cycle. Time and time again, Black communities are expected to overperform in elections in the face of tremendous voter suppression. There were no good old days when it comes to the ability to cast a vote in this country. You know, the machines were always uh, more broken in our communities. The lines were always much longer in our communities. And now we're being told just uh, put bigger rocks on your back and climb up steeper hills and do it in service of folks who may not fight as hard as they need to once they get into office. Why is protecting the filibuster, is that more important no, than protecting no, voting rights, no. especially for people who fought and died for that? I want to make sure we bring along not just all the Democrats, we bring along Republicans who I know know better. They know better than this. And what I don't want to do is get wrapped up right now and the argument whether or not this is all about the filibuster or... Look, the American public, you can't stop them from voting. The African-American community stood up again for me. You always had my back, and I'll have yours. In so many ways, this is not just about whether or not uh, President Biden had the back of black communities who helped to propel him into office. This is about whether or not he has his own back, his path, um, to be able to have a Congress that he can work with after 2022 relies on the ability of uh, the people that elected him to get back to the polls. And the strategy that is being employed right now is to absolutely prevent that. And this is the message that we have to send to President Biden, to those in power who expect us to continue to put rocks on our backs and climb up hills to say, your job is to actually remove those rocks and to um, make that hill flat. Because the progress for the future can't simply rely on us overperforming um, in in climate uh, situations. It is actually about um, setting up a structure where all of us can compete and engage fairly. We will always lose in the back rooms of Washington, D.C., unless we have the people lined up at the front door. We do not have the money on our side uh, we do not have the sort of connection to the powerful elite on our side. What we have is the people. And we need more people of all races speaking up, of all backgrounds speaking up, to say that our elected officials cannot allow this to happen in their name. What we uh, believe at Color of Change is that we can never mistake presence for power. Presence is visibility, awareness, it's retweets, it's shout outs from the stage. And right now we are building presence. But power is the ability to change the rules. And we put people in office to change the rules. And now that's what they have to do.